All right. Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, we're over halfway through our show here on our Friday segment of Pals TV. So next we're going to head down to Columbus and join our friends at Art Outside the Lines. Um, Bianca and Audrey have done a terrific job connecting us with art right now and giving us different things to do and their drawing classes. And um, every other week on Fridays, they do the art show and tell. So we love seeing your art here and can't wait to see it again this week. So Bianca and Audrey. Awesome. Hey guys. Hi. Um, I want to do a special shout out. Thank you for Megan and Claire for joining us. I'm so excited to see you guys. Um, Megan is a longtime studio mentor. She helps people all around the studio with their artwork. Um, and Claire was our intern for a really long time and she continues to inspire and help others as well. So really excited to see you guys. Um, today's segment is art show and tell. I hope all of you brought your artwork. Um, I want to see it all. So is that Steven? Hi! <laughs> um, Awesome. There's so many new faces. Okay, cool. So the way I started last week was um, I showed off some artwork that we had here at the studio, but now that we have more people on today, would anyone like to go first? No? All right. I'm going to call Megan. Megan's going to go first. So I'm going to unmute Megan. And what's up, Megan? Hey, how's it going? So I've got a few pieces I can show off if you want. Um, that I've been doing since I have been off work. So these are all watercolor pieces. I'll pull up the first one. Y'all guys see it? Whoa. Like one it. of my watercolors that I've done recently. Wow. Came out pretty cool. I, uh, I have a tendency to do a lot with trees. <laughs> I, I know, I love your trees. They're beautiful. Raise your hand if you love to draw trees. Yeah, a lot of, yeah, me too. Uh, and that's one of my others. Wow. Ooh, I like the colors in that. Yeah. Got got pretty detailed with a tiny brush. It's amazing. Yeah. I'm uh I'm having a good time. Like, do you guys have questions about like yeah. anything or like comments or anything like that? I can just pull up stuff otherwise. <laughs> Does anyone have a question for Megan? Raise your hand and I can unmute you. Oh, Steven has a question. So hey, you say you say you like drawing trees and everything. And what me do you who like drawing specific trees or just trees? Um, I don't know. I I tend to I tend to lean towards doodling trees whenever I start to draw. I don't I don't know what makes that happen, but every tree is different, so there's no wrong way to draw a tree. So it's just kind of like the easiest thing to to doodle for me. I guess that's why I don't like like drawing things because I don't like things easy. <laughs> Man, Steven, that was a good one. Oh, um, nice. Even it's kind of like the equivalent that you draw swords all the time. Yeah. Yeah, they're easy for me because I made them easy. Right, mm -hmm. but that Megan oh, made same with them trees. Easy. Yeah. Her trees are very <laughs> detailed. Yeah. <laughs> that was awesome. All right. Anyone else have a question for Megan? Oh, two questions. Okay, Caitlin and then George. Caitlin. Um, I like your trees, Megan. <laughs> Thanks, Caitlin. <laughs> Caitlin, have you met Megan at the studio yet? I think no. we've met before. Yeah, we've met before. Sure we've met. Cool. It's All been right. a while. Georgie? Uh, I was wondering how in the world you treat them with your art, Megan. Uh, Megan, what's your, what's your favorite kind of medium? Uh, lately, it's been watercolor. I also do a lot of pen and ink work, um, but watercolor is definitely become my go-to which is really weird because before a couple years ago I never touched it yeah so. um I discovered something new that I I've been borrowing my mom's iPad and all of a sudden like I've been discovering new things that I can do and I've been doing like portraiture stuff and cool things like that so I feel like this quarantine time we've all been discovering new artistic sides to all of us for sure um thank you for sharing do you have anything more to show 
I mean, I do if you want, but if other people have stuff, like. All right, we'll come back. You'll be our, we'll come back to you. I'll be your backup. Thank you. All right, um, Caitlin, it seems like you want to show. I'm going to unmute you, Caitlin, and put you on speaker view. I made this. Ooh. I knit it. You knitted it? Yeah, in a, in a hat, too. Oh, Caitlin, that's so cute. So much stuff there, Moss. What made you want to do Christmas colors? Because I like Christmas. <laughs> You're I like Christmas, too, girl. And I made this, too. Oh, oh my god. I have toilet paper roll. That's really cute. Out of a to toilet paper roll? So how did yeah. you make a toilet paper roll? I cut it. So to make it like this, and you put string around it, and you, and you knit it, and you can put stuff in it. And you can wow, hang it up and hang up the tree. That is. And I, I made this. So wow. Painting, too. You're doing all kinds of mediums, huh? And. <gasps> I love that. That's beautiful. Wish flower. What is it? A wish flower. Oh, wish flower. Oh, wish flower. And I did this with um, uh, diamond art. Oh, that cute. It's in your little frame. Yeah. Colorful. I love that. That's it. it. I, I like to do art. My favorite thing to do art. I miss you guys. Oh, we miss we you. We miss you too. I'm really glad to see that you're still doing art. So you said you hang those little tr things from the trees? No, you can hang these. Um, you put extreme on them, you can hang from like a Christmas ornament. Oh, Ooh, like okay. a Christmas ornament. Those are cool. Yeah, well, I like to knit. When My you come back to the TL, you should teach us how to make those. Like, this is like, I knit this on a, like a sort of loom thing. Like right. looming, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Thanks for sharing, Caitlin. Does anyone have any questions mm -hmm. for Caitlin? George, do you have a question for Caitlin? Uh, it's not actually a question, but I know mm -hmm. I like to tell you that my mom knits things. That's oh. cool. That's cool. She should come on here and show us her knitted stuff. Maybe she should, but she has other things to do. <laughs> when, I, when I come back, I also had to knit. <laughs> yeah, when you guys come back, we'll all knit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. All right, George, since you're unmuted, do you want to show us some art? Yes. Awesome. First, I'd like to show you a thing that Megan uh, pretty much taught myself. I taught myself how to do this. <gasps> it is the beach. George! create. On Procreate, so Procreate yeah. is an app. If you have um, an iPad, you guys can download it. It's a really amazing app. Yes. That's, that's so cool, George. It makes me want to be at the beach. Literally, the beach. I, I feel like I'm at the beach. Mm -hmm. Steven has a really quick question. Steven? I'd yes, just please. like to say, hey, George, I'm, I'm kind of jealous of, that you can do online stuff like that because uh, the only thing I can do with a computer art-wise is 3D models. I can't do anything 2D like that. Oh, That's thank amazing. you. George, when you come back, if you feel comfortable, you should definitely bring your iPad to AOTL and show us you doing this stuff. Sure, I'll take better care of it when on the bus, too. Good. That's Great. a smart idea. Mm -hmm. Do you have anything have, else that you've done on Procreate? I have two more. Uh, actually, not on pre Procreate, but I have two more things to show you. Cool. Beautiful. Last night, I showed my dad this, and... Hold up. Um, this is, I know it may just be like something off the internet, but I won't say, but let's just say I created this. It is. What does it say? Please do not touch? Yeah, it's a please do not touch dandelion. Aww. It's, it's like a, uh, uh, an exhibit type. Thing, joke. Oh, I love it. That's beautiful. Did you do that with marker? I did it all with Sharpie. Awesome. And the third thing I want to show you is one on the computer. This I did with digital art on Kid Picks. Ooh, wow. Lots of lights. Yeah. So if you did that on Kid Picks, I feel like that'd be hard. Yeah, I just took one of the 
like the little images on it's hard to describe but mm -hmm. i'll cut it down to shorter proportions i basically took an image from a site and just edited it and edited it to my own and put a mario on it to say like it's from smash brothers that's really cool it is i bet you could make a city scene on procreate as well true <laughs> true Awesome. Thanks, George. Does anyone have a comment or question for George? Oh, I love it. Okay, let's go to Kristen McGlone. Hey, Kristen. Hi. What do you want to say to George? Um, George, I really like your drawings. Thank you, Kristen. Oh, you're welcome. Okay, um, Caitlin. You're a good artist. Thank you. I was an artist since I was like really little. Awesome. All right, Steven. So I have a question. Um, did you drag and click that Mario from somewhere else or did you design it from scratch? I designed it from scratch and pixelated wow. it. Wow, that is amazing. Mm hmm. All right, man, George, you're popular. We have more questions. All right, Gila, what, what's up, Gila? Oh, Gila wants to show us her art. Okay, Gila, go for it. I have a father like walk up. All right, pull it up a little more. There you go. Ooh. Oh, are you coloring that lamb? Or yeah. Cat? Yeah. That's cool. The whole time. I'm making a lot of time because I got a lot of work. Yeah, but good. Mm -hmm. Awesome, Gila. All right, who would like to go next? Steven? Yeah. All right. Is this your cat? Did you make your cat? Yeah, this is, this is my cat, but I should not make her. <laughs> um, I, I've been doing, and so I'm drawing. It's what I'm good at. It's what I like doing. And I, I don't know how much I'll be able to show, but I got this. Is that a character you created for your, like, your It's comic? not a character. It's, a, it's the characters. Um, it's the thing that they're questing for. Hmm, okay. Or it's a, it's a sword. It's kind of like, like if you combine a lightsaber with raw magic. Okay. Wow. That's interesting. It, it is one of two swords. One is called, called, called Soul, Philosopher's Soul, and the other is called Philosopher's Wrath. Mm. They're both equally powerful, only are basically the same thing. Only one is blue, blue and one is red. Okay. Your mom told us that you're making a comic or something right you're now. Is creating this, characters and is stuff. Is this part of it? Oh yeah, this is the quest line item. Okay, that's Sick. awesome. Sick. Basically, they gotta find this sword or everything they know dies. Ooh. You know what? I bet George could help you put that on the computer and like and make it look realistic on the Procreate. True. Yeah. Truth. <laughs> <laughs> Even those are awesome. Yes, thank you for sharing. I'm so glad that you're continuing to work on your comics and your characters and your weapons. <laughs> Do you have any more swords to show? No, uh, I actually got also got some characters. Yeah, show us. This is the uh, uniform form that the main char characters characters wear, or at least the the variation of it for the grunts. The, the main characters are going to be wearing a ver a unique variation for each character. Mm, okay. So these, should... are called, these are the mage knights. Right here in the center, her is the symbol for, for the kingdom. Okay. Um, every he good guy has this somewhere on their armor. So these are good guys? Yeah, these are good guys. Cool. I've only designed two bad guys so far. Nice. <laughs> I love that you're drawing good guys. 
Um, these are the personal swords of the heroes. Ooh, and those are the ones are colored in. I love it. Wow, that huge one in the middle looks like a butcher knife. Oh, yeah. <laughs> um, these ones are specifically colored in because unlike like the other her character, hers, these he, the, he, the heroes are color coordinated. This is the main hero's blade, this is his girlfriend's blade, and the rest of the hum to the this the left? F, uh, to this side are her sister's blades. Okay. Wow. This is that the currently he right now all we got uh, are the hero and his best friends, which are nearly identical blades. Aids. Aids. We haven't even met these people or this guy yet. Mm -hmm. So many. But, uh, when we meet this guy, you know that guy who used to be on the bad guy's side and has to prove his work hurt because now he's on the hero's side and he's got to make sure, and everybody's got to make sure he's uh, genuine. Kind of like Kylo yeah. Ren. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good idea. This knight and all the weapons are the generic hick knights. Knights. Not wow. the knights, the generic knights. Okay, right. About magic. Without magic, the generic ones. Okay. Um, these are three he, he generals for the good guys. Nice. This guy. Oh, so detailed. Yeah. 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 Uh, uh, sorry, this is my first time doing this over. That's eight. okay. No, you're doing, you're doing great. I know, we, I miss doing critique every Friday with you guys. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is the page with the bad guys. I'll save that for last. This, <laughs> this is a, this is his basically, he the heavy infantry for the regular knights. Nice. Sweet. Okay. They're called Titans. Titans. Because they are, because even though they don't have any, any control over their magic, their strength is supernatural. Mm hmm. Have we have here? Here of it another her group. This is his a uh, group of the armored rangers. They're another group of mag mystical knights. Heights, they you can identify them by the fact they have a small shield of a sword in it and a bow. Okay. Wow. I think your that your drawings are getting more detailed. I I love that. For sure. Does anyone have any um questions or comments for Steven? This was all really cool. Claire, I'm gonna unmute Claire. Hi. Hey. I mean you look so good. I'm wondering if you plan on coloring anything in or if you want to leave it black and white. Um, I may color, I may cut, I'm i going to leave the concept for the basics black and white, but I think I may color these two on the sides because they are the gem rolls for the bad guys. Mm -hmm. I think that'll look cool. Like the drawing you showed us with all the different swords, it really popped with all the color that you had in there. I think it made it look really nice. There's also these two group of swords. Swords, they all belong to the king. I love it. Flies in a special whole form of sword combat that, that involves telekinesis. Mm. Oh. So and you're going to play those there? Well, and here's the king's armor. Beautiful. Wow. The king, I don't think I'm calling the king's in, not because I don't want, want him to be uh, have us be, to be bland, because he's the white king. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Claire, for those questions. Lauren, did you have a question? No. Oh, you said no? You just have your hand up there. Okay. All right. Thanks, Stephen, for sharing. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Who wants to share next? Crawford. I can't wait to see Crawford. Hey, Craw. Hey. Hey. All right, speaker view for Crawford. Show us what you got. Can you hear me okay? Yes, we can hear you great. Okay, okay. So I've been painting. That's the first one I did. 
Are those two birds? The yeah. window light is kind of harsh. Does that help or no? Yeah, that Should helps. I move a little bit? Oh, I see. Yeah, the two birds. If you move to the other side of your table, it would help. Okay. Like in that chair, right there. Oh, okay. Yep. Here, can I can I change the camera on this or no? Do you yes. know? I think so. Okay. Let's see. Yes, I can. So that'll be easier. Perfect. Oh, awesome. Cool. Ooh, yeah. I've been trying to like paint with, with um different colors that I usually don't paint with. Like there's a lot of yellow in this one. Uh-huh. Yeah, a lot of like dark reds. Mm, I wanted this to be called um I forget what I named it. Something I think it's Burning Love or something like that. Because they're sharing a worm. Um, oh, that's the worm and it's a heart? <gasps> that's really cute idea. That's cute. Uh-huh. It looks very And then like that. that's that one. Cool. All right, what are your other ones? I did a lot, like, you know how when, well, this is, like, another one that's really textured. They're really textured because I did a different technique that I saw online. What is that? Is that like a sunset, like a beach sunset? Uh, with palm trees at the bottom of it. Yeah, mm -hmm. super cool. What's the t technique that you're talking about that you learned? Maybe it would help if I moved that a little bit. I can't hear. You just kind of okay. moved out. What was the technique? I moved out or something. Can you hear me now? Crawford, what was the technique? Yeah, that you sort of. Well, <laughs> so right. I saw people do like dots of paint and then mix them together. Uh huh. Can, did you hear me? Yeah, you 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 dollop and mix them together. So people people do like dots and then they do brush strokes like have you seen that done on Facebook and stuff yep that's what I did to make that one. Oh. Okay. and the bird one and then this one which is treble love love and treble it's a treble cleft but it's a heart oh that's pretty cool mm -hmm. that's basically all I did other than the ones that I've already shown you what made you want to do so many love pieces? I don't know. Just <laughs> being locked in the house. You're being locked. locked in the house makes you feel like, like depressed and I needed something to make me happy, I guess. Yeah, and that's such a good idea. Yes, it is. It's a great, great, great way to use your time. I know it's a hard time, but art helps a lot. Mm -hmm. Yep. Does anyone have any questions or comments for Crawdad Crawford? All right, Stephen. So I I, I understand hand and uh, being bored, but but well, but but um, <laughs> um, it can be hard for me to do art here compared here to AOTL because I don't have all the same equipment. How difficult was this compared here to um? Back when we were able to meet up together. Oh yeah. Um, it wasn't difficult because my mom bought me a bunch of stuff before I had before quarantine because like canvases and stuff like that because she knew I'd be locked in here a long. Mhm. Mm yeah. Time. So I got like paintbrushes and canvases and paints and like really good stuff before I went into quarantine. But um, yeah. So no, it wasn't really that hard. That's good. My dad had when he is still getting me stuff for corn because we figured it would just last the initial two weeks. They said <laughs> we were woefully longer. Hey, Stephen, if you need anything, shoot. Have your mom call Audrey and me, and we we can get you some stuff. Okay. Uh, okay. All right. He went on the drawing. I'm building Legos. Oh, cool. Good. <laughs> Love Legos. <laughs> All right, thanks Crawford for sharing. We're gonna see if someone else wants to share really quick.
Also, Crawford makes really beautiful jewelry. I hope you show that. Cool. Yes. Okay. Um, did Jordan Hubert want to show art? Okay. Okay. Awesome. Okay. Hello. Um, the the item couple to show you. So this is my cell and then that I'm a mate and then you pull, that, up, pull it up a little more like hold it up like this. Yeah. yeah that eyes and the mouth and the hair. Aww. And then a neck. And then and then I had some other ones, some like like a detail. Um like a a, a flower. Hmm. Wow. I like that middle. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it had them had the dot in it. Yeah. Too. And then and the, I had some hearts and stuff. They they did the color hearts. That uh -huh. that a pink and it did orange and brown heart. Nice. Beautiful. And then I had a three. So I have this. Ooh, you like to draw trees too. <laughs> yeah. And then, then I had some shades in here. Um there is a swear. Oh, you're you're practicing your shapes and stuff? Yeah. The okay. the swear, triangle, circle, and this is a rectangle. Wow. Wonderful. Yeah. Your person in the beginning was really cool. I really liked her smile. I thought it was really unique. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Thank um, you for sharing. Does anyone have a comment or question for Jordan? No. Oh, Stephen does. Oh. Okay. Be nice, Stephen. I enjoy your art. It is simplistic in a childlike sense. It mm. is. That's a nice way to put it. It's like... It's like a f really feel good art. Yeah. 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 Put a smile on your face. Good yeah. job, Simon. Thanks. Thanks, Jordan. Mm -hmm. All right. Um, I'm going to skip to Claire because I'm really excited to see her art and I miss her face. Hey, Claire. Hi, Claire. Hey, guys. I love you all and I miss you all so much. I wish I could be at the studio with you so oh. badly. Sorry if you hear barking in the background. I got a puppy and he's kind of nuts. <laughs> Aww. But I've been staying at my parents' house and I haven't been super great about making new art because I'm having kind of a hard time recently. So I figured I could show you guys some things that I found at my parents' house that are older things. Like this, one of my first pieces of art I ever made. Oh, wow. It's a bunch of lemurs. So I made this when I was in elementary school, and I don't know what the other little animal is, but I know one of them are lemurs. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this was watercolor and I think colored pencil. Aww. That would have been back in the early days. Element Aww. Elementary <laughs> clear. Mm -hmm. Yep, and then I found this. This is really big. I don't know if I'll... I love that piece. Thing. Yes, awesome. How did yeah, you make so, that? Um, this is a monotype, which is a, I can keep holding it up, um, type of like printmaking. So you have a big piece of plastic and you, put, you roll a bunch of ink onto it with like a little thing called a brayer. And then you can use like a cloth or a paintbrush or anything and you wipe away the ink where you want to make like a pattern or a detail and you can add different kinds of ink and you get a really big piece of paper and you have to have a printing press and you put the big piece of paper on top of the plastic and you run it through the really heavy big press and then it'll wow. do that so luckily where i go to school we get to do cool things like that maybe yeah. we can do stuff like that when the studio reopens yeah we definitely do without presses i know um I feel like, yeah, so Megan just said um, that she understands having issues finding motivation to create because we're all housebound. 
Um, I feel like my take and advice on that is Pals TV, like this segment has really helped me because I've been able to show art and like have and see other people's art and it's been really inspiring. Yeah. Um, so Claire, I wanted to thank you for coming on because even if, when people are having a hard time, I feel like you show the example of you keep going and you're so strong. And um, I think sharing helps people be happy and get inspiration. So thank you so much. Yes. Thank you. I'm glad I got to see everybody and maybe I'll make something for next week. Maybe you guys will inspire me. Yay. Awesome. Oh, uh, Crawford looks inspired. Look at him. <laughs> oh, <I love> him. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I think Lauren wants to show Lauren. Hey, Lauren. I made, I made these soaps last night. Oh, you've been, you were making more soaps? Are those popsicles? Yeah. Those are so cool. They're so cute, Lauren. Mom got me this popsicle mold. Wow. Can you make real popsicles in those? No. <laughs> like tiny little popsicles? Like tiny popsicles. <laughs> Uh, I have to get another. <laughs> Lauren was like, oh, no, crazy. <laughs> what? You were like, um, Bianca, shut up. <laughs> I have to get another mold if I'm doing that, okay? Yeah, <laughs> yeah got it. Got it. So it's, it's wax. Right, yeah. you're using wax. Um, I think, does Georgie, do you have a comment? Yeah, I have something funny to say. Okay. Uh, oh dear. Does the wax like wax off uh, <laughs> or when you clean your hands with it? Does your hands get cold? Shut up, George Riffle. <laughs> you lost that one. I thought you were going to say wax on, wax off. <laughs> so did I. <laughs> All right, Stephen. So I'm thinking. Because of this whole COVID scare, that that particular her product is going to go is going to be really profitable. <laughs> That's very true. You got to wash your hands during this time. You making those soaps? <laughs> these these ones are um, candle, mm -hmm. but I do have soap ones that I've done. That's a good idea, Stephen. Well, Lauren, thanks for sharing with us. Yep. Okay, Caitlin, you're just shoving it in the screen, huh? What's up, Caitlin? <laughs> I'm in Mickey. Oh, that's your Mickey Mouse? Love it. And then Bumblebee. Oh, cute. Thanks, Caitlin. Yeah. All right, Alex. Yeah, one more thing. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> Alex, <laughs> Jenny, don't worry. We're coming to you next. I'm coming for you, buddy. When you do um, the beat all, like, I want, like, the, the, uh, diamond art, you have to blow it after that. Oh, roll art. Oh, that's like what? Here, Claire, I'll unmute you. Go, Claire. Yeah, that's a brayer. That's like what I was talking about. How I made the really big piece. You roll ink with that. Oh. Made a good connection. Nice. Thank you. Yeah. You use it for diamond art too. <laughs> cool. I bet Claire would be oh. really good at diamond art. Diamond art sounds fun. I don't know what it is. <laughs> <laughs> Give me some diamonds. <laughs> Give me some diamonds. That's all I need. <laughs> yeah. All right, I'm gonna go to Alex J. Alex J. Um, uh, I didn't. Uh, I didn't. I did not do some uh, drawing art um, to you guys because uh, I haven't get get a chance to do it. Uh, I'm sorry. Oh, you, <laughs> Alex J. That is okay. That is okay. <laughs> but you haven't got you know any what? chance to make art. What have you been doing, sir? I've been doing. I've been. I've been doing all day. I've just been. Doing my chores around the house, I am um, getting ready to go uh, to see my parents' house because uh, it's my mom, my mom's birthday today. Oh, happy birthday to your mom! And good job keeping up with your chores. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right, um, do, Elise, do you want to share anything? Sure. Yay! Okay. The only thing I did within the last couple of hours was one little like flower I, that I did. Cool. What oh, you um, what you make it? Oh, I see that there's words. Yeah, there's yeah, there I put like words like in the little paddle. So like I did like I I said it was like a loving flower. Mm -hmm. So like each little word meant 
like for like love so like like if you like love like maybe your pets or if you love a picture or your toys or you know gifts or just like words that mean the word love or kindness or something like that just yeah like a like a thankfulness flower Mm -hmm. kind of yeah but it was like a quick little drawing I did within the last couple minutes so (laughs) that's beautiful that's a great idea way to stay positive yeah that's a really cool idea I might steal it from you (laughs) (laughs) you can I don't care if you steal it (laughs) well thanks for sharing you're welcome Okay, um, does anyone else have any artwork to share that I've missed? Steven, you have one more thing? <laughs> I love how excited you are. Okay, Kristen, <laughs> it'll be right after Steven. Okay, so uh, this in this book, book is basically the first couple of drafts of the print of the, of the, uh, of the premise for my story. Okay. I, wa- I was going to read an excerpt from it. Oh. Right. Uh, one. Sam, Highs Dragnar, are a, a spunky, he lad. Sorry, it's my mom's writing. <laughs> Fine. Yet. A skinny yet. Uh, sorry, I tried. Okay. It's okay. No, you know what? That was a really good try. Okay, we're going to be doing this again in two weeks. Mm -hmm. So you should come back in two weeks and um, we can hear your story then. Mm -hmm. Okay. Also, your haircut is awesome. Thanks. (laughs) Okay, um, I wanted to go to Kristen. All right. Hey, Kristen. Hi. What have you made? Uh, do you ever, do you guys ever go to Yankee Paler? No, I don't think it's so. What's what's that? Uh, um, I got I got this from the Yankee Peddler, and then you can make a um like a you can make a necklace or a bracelet with it. You just have to do like clockwise a couple times until you're done. That's cool. That? Your camera's a little backlit. It's a little dark. Oh. <laughs> you want to move? Yeah, perfect. Yeah. Move away from the window. Yeah, that's much better. Is that better. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I got this at Yankee Peddler. Oh, you just could do clockwise. Oh yeah, cool. That's really cute. That's a good way to spend your time for sure. Mm-hmm. Are you making them for you or for anyone else? Yeah, you can, you can make a bracelet or a necklace with it. Oh, I'm just learning how to do this in a couple years. That's cool. So it's like a new skill. You like it? Yeah, we love it. It's really cute. It'd be really cute yeah. hanging up in your room or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for sharing. I'm just learning new things around and stuff like that. Definitely. That's what you got to do to, you know, keep your artistic yeah, you, flowing. Uh, do, you like, do you like dogs? Yeah. Do you like dogs? Yes, yeah. we like dogs. Okay, I have a dog right here. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, let's all Claire. Will you get? Will you show us your dog too? Everybody that has a dog by them, show. show oh, Kristen, your dog is so cute. Oh, oh, oh spot. look at that! Oh my goodness, that my is name is so Scout. <laughs> too cute. Megan's little dog. Oh, Megan has a dog. Oh. Oh, Caitlin's dog. Oh, Caitlin has a dog. All right, Claire. Oh, stop it. Claire, what's your dog's name? It's Leo. Wow. Hi, Leo. (laughs) He's only four months. He's still a baby. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Megan, I know you have a dog. That's a cat. That's a cat? Megan's like, I don't have a dog. That's a cat. (laughs) Megan, what's your cat's name? Uh, this one's teriyaki. Teriyaki, <laughs> how cute! <laughs> there's a there's a sleeping monster over next to me. But wait, I'm gonna go to Elise. Elise, what's your dog's name? My dog's name is Buck. Oh, Buck's face is so cute. Yeah. He, we we named him 
after the um like at, you know like the Brutus Buck guy? Yeah. Mm -hmm. We named him after that, but shortened it to Buck. To Buck. Very cute. That's cute. Yeah. Wow, everyone has dogs. Look at you guys. Aww. You guys are having a snuggly quarantine. Mm -hmm. Crawford, will you please show your dog, please? You guys, Crawford's dog. Gotta get her. She's in her bag. It's like a little peanut. Okay, Ella, come on. Yeah. Do you even oh, 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 look at oh, Ella! Oh, oh, I think that's the best way to end this segment. Hi, Ella. Ah, oh. uh, Okay, you guys. Well, that wraps up our AOTL show and tell. Um, thank you so much for being with us. Um. I love seeing all your guys' work. I hope you guys continue to make art and find inspiration. Um, we teach an hour segment related to art every week, so come and join again. And Aaron, break back, your dogs. Back to break. <laughs> we got some amazing artists here, so thank you for showing us all your pieces. Love seeing them. I love seeing our new faces on here. Megan, Claire, thanks for joining us. Um, Steven, I saw you on here for the first time. That was awesome. So. Thanks for coming on. Um, again, save up your art. And what, two weeks again, ladies? We'll be doing yep. another show? Yes. So there you go. So two weeks from today. Um, looking forward to it. So always a lot of fun. Thank you, AOTL, for everything that you do. And we'll see you next week. Thank you, guys. Bye Thanks, guys. everyone. Bye, Megan and Claire. Thank you for doing your segment. <laughs> We'll be coming back to you again in 15 minutes uh, from our Columbus program and joining Professor Phil. So see everyone shortly.